So it looks like Stadia is making some big moves, doing some big things as they sign a major deal and release a major bundle with a big time internet provider in the UK. What's up, people? It's your boy, MM2K. Hey, look, man, we get a lot of people that continue to tell me that I'm the lone wolf out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm the last Boy Scout, and I'm bringing y'all this news at my own peril because I'm foolish and I'm silly. Okay. And what people don't understand, because I don't know, maybe they need a CAT scan. Maybe they're not eating the right foods. <laughs> they can't think. I don't know what it is. But what people got to understand is we're connected to our phones. We love Twitter. We like going tippity top on Twitter. But your Twitter feed is different from my Twitter feed. My algorithm shows me something different from yours because of who you choose to follow. Okay. If I follow Stadia and I've liked a bunch of Stadia people, guess what I'm getting? I'm getting Stadia news. If you follow a bunch of console warlord people, you're getting a bunch of anti-cloud gaming news or in the advent of what appears that Google finally put their foot down and told people to stop lying about the platform or don't say nothing at all. You know what I'm saying? Now that they've those people have gone radio silent, the naysayers and the haters, you are going to hear nothing. You got to start following stadium people. That's I don't get that. That's like me saying I ain't got no no uh no feeds about hamburgers. But all I do is follow makers of chicken fingers. <laughs> I'm for all I follow is Chick-fil-A and makers of chicken tenders and Purdue. I, why don't I have any feeds about hamburgers? It's, it's the most idiotic thing that I've ever heard. So therefore, those of you that like to be in the know, again, regardless if you're full-throated or wholeheartedly behind cloud gaming or Stadia at all, if you just like to be in the know and you want to keep an eye on this, I'm here to tell you that Stadia is, make, is starting to make some moves to become a major player in 2020 i even had my doubts i thought that stadia was trying just trying to do a slow drip that they were definitely making investments for the long term but they you know they wanted to just get this thing in people's hands for 2019 so they can get data and the ceo of tequila works confirmed my beliefs in a recent article also i thought I, it was starting to look like in 2020 they weren't trying to be a major player because they weren't looking to get any games in-house and they were just looking again to just flesh out all the features and then that maybe they would start making their big play in 2021 and so on right that's what it was starting to look like but then google announced 120 games coming to the platform 10 exclusives and those 10 exclusives are just coming in the first half of 2020 so a lot of us that are fans of the product, but we're, we're, we're angst about the, the, the quantity that we were getting here because the quality is great. It's just the quantity that was the issue. We've been reassured that they're still looking to make major moves in 2020. They're making, they're looking to make some big time moves, right? And one of the big time moves is what you see on the screen here they are now working to do a big time bundle with a major publication, right? Or not publication, I'm sorry, major company, right? And this is this is big. And even though this is regional, it's in a major metropolitan area. And if this starts to spread worldwide, the ramifications of this is like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Because one of the biggest things that you hear is that cloud gaming just isn't accessible, that it's just not fathomable, that in order to get the internet usage, you gotta pay $55,000 a month to get the right internet that allows you to do this. And I'm here to tell you, as someone that has an internet package now of a gig up and a gig down for $75 a month, and I'm in nowhere near a major metropolitan area, Big up to my homie King's Blood. Me and King's Blood had a discussion behind the scenes, and he said, "Hold on, MM2K Moss, the median level of living comfortability in your area is only 68 G's." 
He said, I spent 68 G's and five. So he said, man, what? I said, bro, this is not a major metropolitan area. So for us to get internet like that, you know what I'm saying? Even in a smaller area at that price, that's fantastic. You know what I'm saying? So the internet is accessible now. It's more accessible than people want you to believe. And if it wasn't accessible, then people wouldn't be playing Fortnite all night. You know what I'm saying? We just got to use our brains. Fortnite would not be the major major gaming conglomerate that it is and people wouldn't be playing it all night if internet wasn't accessible uh, in, in, in many homes so we got to stop the foolishness okay so we're going to start seeing that this starts opening up to more people <coughs> excuse me that less people have to worry about data caps and things like that like i don't have to worry about now if we start seeing deals like this spread and become more abundant in more places what type of deals is happening? What happened? Who did what? What type of bundle MM2K you're talking about? How is this gonna make Stadia very, very accessible? Well, you want the details? Join us over for the full discussion at Stadia Dosage. Come over to the channel. I'll, I'll provide a link below. And again, even if you're not the biggest fan of cloud gaming, but you, want, you definitely wanna keep your hand on the pulse to you know, know what's going on here. You know what I'm saying? Because this is going to have some impact. If this is done right, and it looks like that Stadia is getting better at their messaging, and they're, they're, they're actually leading the charge for cloud gaming, and they're going to do some big things. I mean, the, the CEO of Tequila Works said that we're going to start seeing some stuff that will blow people's minds as it relates to Stadia. Then... Definitely, you want to keep your finger on the pulse of this one just to just to be in the know. You know what I'm saying? Just to be in the know. I follow a lot of things that at first I may not be a fan of, and I may become a fan of it later, or or, or I may not. It's just, but you know, it, it, it's relevant. And again, you don't want to argue from a place of ignorance. Don't listen to these ignorant fools out here that follow the outrage culture. Be in a place of no. Don't be the fool that just falls victim to your algorithm and you're in a silo and you don't see the real world as it is and don't know the head from your rear end come over to the stadium dosage let's have this conversation and let's talk about this big bundle and how this might impact you if you're in a region where this is going to be released so with that said that's it from your boy mm2k come on over join the discussion and you have a wonderful wonderful gaming day peace